more blue coins, Michael. Oh, greetings and welcome back, gentles and ladies, man, to another exciting episode of Michael runs around like a jackass and collects a bunch of coins. Michael Jenkins, Michael Jenkins. I saw you do some of this. Yep. I was there for that part. But then I had to leave because I had important business to conduct. There are two blue coin things in the sand, man. so don't miss them. Because those are coins. probably the more, two of the more obscure ones. Two and more obscure than the last. Two more obscure than the next. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, no, keep going. I want to hear more of your pill down impression. Keep going. I want to hear more of your impressions. Keep going. I ain't done with your impressions, yeah. Keep going. I'm tapping this with my left hand. Keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry, what tips and tricks do you have for them? Don't miss those two butterflies out there, and remember that those baskets each have a blue coin in them, and they will blow up with the bullet bills that you can find. Hidden bullet bills? I, so I believe episode 6 is the last one where these new blue coins start appearing in the level. Most okay. of them are pretty easy to find, I think. Like, like I said, spray everything. Look everywhere for some. graffiti. If there is a weird enemy that stands out, it's probably got one. Don't forget that Yoshi will help you eat, you know, certain enemies and things that allow you to get even more blue coins. Use Yoshi to consume the, the local innocent. flora and fauna and uh, destroy the ecosystem for money. Indeed. If you want the coins, destroy the ecosystem. Destroy ecosystem, get the cash. Destroy this the one's ecosystem. A little bit of, this one you gotta. Cash. The one up there. I guess I end up saving it for a little Turn bit. Turn it later. up, set it on fire, get the money. Fuck bitches, get hose. Hose, weed, hose again. Kill the animals, get the hose. See, there I tried to pull a Super Mario World and abandon Yoshi to get up that there, was pretty but good. it didn't that was, work. I'm not gonna lie. You, uh, you jumped on like the back of that pirate ship. Yeah, that was, that's what you're supposed to do. That was pretty sweet, dog. That was pretty sweet, Doji. So I think that Peanut Park, Penis Park, is probably the easiest level in the game to get everything in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I made you do this. Uh, that's funny to me. <laughs> well, I I look all over the place to find. Oh wait, no, I did do this, and you're just double checking. Gotcha. Yeah, here's yeah. There's one in the water out there. No, miss that one. There, there's also that little slab right there next to the lawn chairs. If you spray that, you get one as well. There are a bunch of ones you can get once the hotel is actually there, starting uh, in episode two. Featuring but I was just double checking to make sure we got the blue coins from those two guys, and we did, so. I don't know why I picked this one. Oh, to double check if to see you if the Nokis. Yeah, you specifically had me go out of my way to get these so that we wouldn't have to watch this again. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I. I remember you doing that, but I didn't know if you got all four, if all four of them I did, did it something. I did faster so. than you did. <laughs> I had one minute and about five seconds left. I think. I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> yeah, there's a blue coin in that flower patch. There's one in the back of the hotel. There's one in the torches up front. And there's one in that slab, all like I said. All my torches in the front. All my flowers at the back. Michael's about to make a club song. A, a, it's gonna be like a club mix of a Pearl Jam so, song. So, if you're gonna be looking for the blue coins in the hotel itself, pick episode 7 where Shadow Mario shows up because he will open every door on every floor so you could just walk in and find everything. Shadow Mario. He will also home. make he will also make a bunch of um, he also make a bunch of new graffiti appear. So you'll want to pick this one there's one in that bookcase back there, but I guess we got it already. There's also one in that lamp that I sprayed. There's, oh boy, there's another one in the, the light at the very top floor over the totem pole. But you can only get that one if you really there's believe There's also yourself. both a graffiti on this wall there, and there's also a boo that you can kill for another blue coin. Or you could leave them alone and play the pacifist route. Uh, okay. It's a, the morally superior route, but it's hard Don't to Don't forget, but so a, here's where I go after the, the 100 coin star. For it. So I'm, I'm over here making high quality jokes. No, you're, you're not. saying bullshit about that doesn't matter. I'm offended. 
I'm offended. I mean, like, I guess I figured that since this is one of the most, one of the more controversial parts of the game where people get stuck a lot, I figured I'd offer some advice, you know? Yeah, but who's watching this? Who's a walkthrough? It's so new to walk through. It's a let's play. You silly goose. I'm sorry, you can, but you can go on and I will watch and I will stay silent and look at you accusingly. <laughs> I like how you just basically have a normal expression on your face. But there's like an implied resentment going on. <laughs> Anyways. When, I recommend picking the fourth, the fourth shine in this level. Because that's when everything is opened up and you can go to all three areas of this world. You can go to the hotel, you can go to the beach, and you can go to the casino. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> oh, I broke. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, why did I know go to the casino? Here I'm also double checking to make sure I got all the blue coins in the hotel, which I did. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, you were just hungry for pineapple. <sighs> also... And the shine sprite with Yoshi. Make sure, by the way, ground pound on these seats for a blue coin. I think I already got it, but you ground pound, and I think one of the torches gives you a blue coin as well. What are you British? You also have to. You also have to pick shine sprite number five because uh, gross. Because <laughs> there's an M will show up over the entrance, and only in that shine. So make sure you get that it's one. Fucking stupid. There's a lot of stupid, arbitrary bullshit in these. Don't pretend like there isn't. There is, but I don't know. What do you mean, but? I've, I've but been decent. There's one in the awning of that hut, and then there's another one that was in the Shadow Mario sh episode, by the way. If if some of this bullshit was in like a game you played like tomorrow, you wouldn't be nearly as accepting of the fact that there's an M that you can only, but it only appears in Shine Number Six, obviously. Well, that's shiny. And hey, fire. you gotta you gotta spray the the bookcase, but only in the certain level on the stupid. Well, the bookcase you can spray as soon as you get into the hotel. The bookcase, I will spray. I will spray. I By will the way, spray the that hit bookcase all damn day. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's shocked. <laughs> By the way, that I swear the fucking hit detection on the entrance to the. Ely mouth place is way bigger than it has any right to be. You just. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Because I, I entered it three times by accident and I got really pissed off about it. <laughs> What's that song? Uh, I'm beautiful. What's no matter that? what they say. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> See, I remember this. Still being better like than the Earthbound worst. soundtrack. What? <laughs> Earthbound is great. Oh, I can't. I can vaguely just not remember my favorite song and most people's favorite song in that game. Pig, pig mask army. Pig, piggy, Porky's, big man. Isn't that, that song? From the, isn't that from Mother Three anyway? Is it only in Mother Three? I don't know. I've never played any of them. I, I just. It was a, in all is it the same song that plays? Is it the same song that plays in Brawl when you fight the yep. Porky? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's from Mother Three. What is Porky's deal anyway? He's just like a dick. Is that how? Like, how did he become an evil emperor? Because he was just like your neighbor in Earthbound, and then yeah. he's like back in Mother Three somehow. There was something to do with time travel, mm -hmm. and the whole. I've never played Mother Three. So. There's like lots of subtle subplots in that game. Like I feel like you should watch, either watch or play Mother Three. I would recommend watching it since as like as a mechan like I'm usually like way more mechanics oriented than story oriented, mm. but there's something really appealing about that game. And I've, if you don't like, you know, standard RPGs and a little bit of RPG grinding bullshit or whatever, then maybe you should just watch it. But yeah. I, I thought it was a, it was very entertaining. B, it has lots, lots of like really subtle messages and like storytelling. It's, it's, it's really fucking cool that it exists, regardless of if it's you know 
the best RPG. Fuck those birds, by the way. <laughs> fuck like, em. fuck them. Here's the deal. The last few... Go to jail for bestiality. Who cares? Fuck them. The, the last few blue coins in this little area... Go by the way, Mario will eventually... Go to jail for bestiality. Bestiality. Have sex with the goat. <laughs> because you are exo paradigm gamer. And you fancy animal butt talks. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'll treasure it always. <laughs> now I'm running around trying to find the last two that I'm missing. And I end up finding them like really close after each other. So one of them is in a little cave above the other little cave. You'll, you'll see it in a second. <laughs> like you see that little cave next to the shell? There it is. Then the other one's down there. I think this level has the worst blue coins, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it can be pretty annoying because there are all those little things in the wall you gotta know, gotta check. There's tons of crannies everywhere. Yes. See that? Full, yeah. for, f full circle. Tom Nook Fulp. Anyways. <laughs> Tom Nook Fulp. So, first Tom one is. The Nook Fulp. So, make sure. The founder of old. By the way, that sign that's that appears immediately after you cross the bridge has a blue coin. No, that's so right. It. That's right. I, uh, so I I did this level and then out of spite made you. You do you want to know how annoying it is, Eric? That I basically had to redo like <laughs> twenty shines from this game to get all the blue coins because you're just a lazy motherfucker. So basically, that just you are confirming confirming exactly what I wanted to happen. Yeah. Because I would have been disappointed if you were like, eh, there's no problem. I would have did it for fun anyway, you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, now that I know you were upset, you know how I was saying, oh, I really want to bum rush the stage? Yeah. A, a comment from good old Jebida, is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, I think so. Ghost, ghosty man, you got a spooky scary ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, how he said, why didn't he go up on the tree and just jump off? And I was like, you can't bust him. You can't bum rush it. You can't. And I was really happy. That's the story. That's the end of it, really. Okay. You know the first shine? So I I want to try that. Next next time either you or I play that game, you got to try the bum rush, man. What, what are we bum rushing exactly? You know the very first shine when there's shit all over for and you got flood taken away from you? Maybe yeah. it's not the very first one. First or second, something like that. So you can go from the tree and bum rush the stage? Well, I don't know if you really can, but... It sounds like it worked. Yeah. It sounds like you can get close enough. I'm well, speaking of what, sure it is. <laughs> yeah. You know, because that's how we got on top of the, the, the douchebag tree. <laughs> really? <laughs> the the, the douchebag tree? Listen, I couldn't listen. I was just thinking of a random <laughs> adjective. I wasn't really, you know. I was By like, the way, <laughs> I love how Eric did. <laughs> I remember. I even then there's another one right there, because Eric, Eric was too lazy to clean up the goop. I even I, I even said I said I wasn't gonna leave this for you just as but man, you had to do that. That's a really annoying level too. That's great. Then here's this guy. Uh, that's funny. That's a that silly gooser right there. Is what that is. Mm, man, look at that audio readout. I should, probably should stop clapping so damn much. Yeah, you're like fucking Jontron from early Game Grumps episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Why am I clapping so much, Aaron? Yeah. That sounds about standard. Making, making, uh, Colin making, making me angry is what that is. Colin Firth is making bacon. Isn't making like a fish? Like, hey, let me, ha let's cook up some delicious bacon. Am I wrong there? Uh, if, if you're, you're a fish, feel, isn't you're bacon a, were Lee from a If you're a fish fucking... lore fan, uh, if you run the fish wikia, the fishkia, can you le drop a comment below telling me Shut up. Megan, <laughs> Megan is a, can you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, watch all of our ads? Can you do that? And By the way, um, <laughs> so we've Did already shown this. pound on that guy's face? Yep. And it worked. Yeah, and it gives you a blue coin. That's fucking stupid. So That's there is. Obscure. There are two like beehives it. in this level. Why did Yoshi <laughs> Two beehives. Yeah, you, beehive. You'll have to eat all the little fuckers that come out and in order to stop point. that beehive yes Kidnappers. there are butterflies Kidnappers. up there 
Don't forget about the second beehive. Beehive. It can be kind of annoying to get them all because, like, they mm. knock you off your Yoshi and then you have to jump back on them all over again. That's what she said. But Yoshi's, but Yoshi's tongue can be a little bit of a annoying. Uh, you're digging your own grave here, Buster. I believe that Whatever. is what she said in a certain circumstances. <laughs> Are you like getting legitimately pissed at me yet? Yes. <laughs> Shut up. You're not. You're not. You're not having a good time with your good friend Eric. You're not going to miss good this. Good friend. Uh, my friend. Good lord. Michael, that is extremely offensive to me. I believe you just broke oh, the sixteenth uh, commandment. Just so, as you guys know, you're going to heck. When you're in the, <laughs> when you're in the nighttime stages, stand on top of the golden mushroom and then aim towards the moon. Remember, and that's another blue point. The corner nighttime right is the right time to hit the club and sip the bub. <laughs> what the hell have you been talking about this whole time? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, is there another one after this, or is that it? No, that was it. That, that, really? that is all the blue coins. That was out of nowhere. Game. I'm sorry if you can get if you people can hear that. Do you think that'll pick the mic will pick I, that up? I, I don't think it will. Usually, unless if it's like right in front of it, it doesn't run yeah. out so well. But yeah, that was that was all the blue coins. That was all the 100 star coin stars. Join us next time for the finale of Super Mario. Well, it might be the next time. It might be right fucking now. Who knows? Yeah. Well, regardless, it's, it's, it's all up to Eric. Promises he can't keep. <laughs> well, oh, watch wow. it, or I might not keep the Star Fox Adventures promise that I made to you. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, right. see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.